Hi, I'm out in the garden and I just thought I would take a few minutes to show you how I'm cleaning up my little strawberry bed. Now this bed is two years old. Last year I got a few strawberries off of it and this year I'm really hoping to get a lot. So I thought I would just show you how you clean up a strawberry bed. Um, and if you'd started a little bit earlier, like I should have, it would have been a bit easier. But I've got a lot of new growth that I'm gonna to have to work around. But you can really do it at any time, you know, March, April. This is mid-April right now. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So the only tools you're really gonna need um, are garden gloves and a small um, pruner. You can use any one, but I, it's nicer if it's smaller. Now you can see I've already kind of started cleaning up this. This is what it looks like. I'll show you the full beforehand. So this is a pretty small bed. Um, it's in one of these metal troughs, see that? And you can see how all this new growth, if I had just come out a few weeks earlier, it would have been a little bit easier on me. But the whole goal is to remove the brown. You wanna remove all the brown leaves um, and just compost those and get rid of those because they can harbor disease and they can make it hard for you to pick your, your strawberries. The other thing, uh, the other goal is you want to clip off any old, you can tell if they look like this, that's an old leaf from last year and just get rid of it because we want all the new stuff. So uh, let's see, that's two things. So I guess three things because the other thing you want to do is you want to find any runners that are still connected. So like here, this runner is connected to the mom plant. You can see, oh, there's my blossoms. Those are the strawberries I'm gonna have. So you want to um, just cut those off because they take, they take um, the energy from the mama plant and you can actually even, depending on how much room, this is only a two year old bed. So I'm gonna keep all the little new ones that started and I'm gonna just follow that runner to where it is. And you can see that it's right here. So I'm gonna cut the end of the runner off from this new one. I'm gonna leave this new one here and let it grow. Now, next year, what I'll probably want to do is transplant some of these and move them up. So I'm gonna continue doing that and I'm gonna clean this up and then I will show you the other thing that you do after you clean up. After your bed is all clean, the last step is to cover it with a layer of mulch. I like to put down a compost that will feed the soil as well. Over the top of that, sometimes I like to add something that will keep the berries off of the compost, like straw or grass clippings, but that's optional. Mm -hmm. 